Cristo. actually came. Let's get this over with. Before we begin, I'm a man of my word, and so a promise must be kept. Xavier Wood? I said, come here. When one Foundation member causes another member harm, even in service of the Purifier's will, this breeds blight and must be addressed. Ah! Now that that's done, you, our blessed, must take care of this much greater source of blight. Let us begin. What you're doing is important, Toby. You may just save us all. Our words are woe, our deeds are wrought. But we are not lost. By hollowed blade, I draw out the affliction. Something is wrong. Mama to be buried? Uh, I... Let me guess. You gave her Mama's ring too. What? Is something out there? It's just Orson. I had to leave him in the car. What? Why? <sighs> he's throwing a fit. I don't know how he's going to make it through the ceremony. No, I could watch the boy. <sighs> okay. Meta could help too. I'd rather she not. Orson doesn't know her well. Look, I just need you to make sure he doesn't go up to the casket. I don't want him to see Mama like that. The boy deserves to say goodbye to his grandmother. He's too young, Papa. He might cry about it, but you just have to be firm with him. Damn it. That's the funeral director. Just watch him for me. You owe me that much. This is Astrid. We have to finish this. We have to end the withering. Toby, 
I can't. Yes, you can. Toby, I... Don't stop being a cold-hearted bitch on me now. I made it right. I made it right. you're going to say a few words. <clears throat> My mother is dead, and I am relieved. Because life with her was an unrelenting nightmare. I know that's probably not what you came to hear, but it's the truth. And I'm tired of covering up for her behavior with lies and smiles. That's not what life was like here. She was a monster. Goodbye, Mama. But I want to see her. Papa, you said you'd take care of him. Please, I have to deal with all the guests. Don't worry. You listen to me. This is hard on all of us, and you're making it harder with your whining. But, Grandma! You sit still and be quiet. This isn't about you. If it's alright with you, I suggest we move things inside. At least until this fog clears a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my son. Orson? Papa? Orson? Are you there, Angel? Orson! Toby was the source of the withering. Now he's gone. But was it enough? We couldn't even finish his severing. Does that mean we're still in danger? Yes, we are. We don't know the withering is still upon us. I can feel it. I can sense it. I need time to consult Radcliffe's text. We all know Rachel has a special relationship to the Purifier. We do? Enough. Barbara's right. Go home. Get some rest. Meditate on Radcliffe's teachings and pray to the purifier that we can find another solution. Are you okay? I tried to make it all right, but did I do enough? The purifier uses tribulations to test us, to build a stronger foundation within us so we can be strong enough for what comes next. Xavier, what comes next? Take Faith home. Get rest. We have more to do tomorrow. Okay. Faith, time to go. <sighs> Faith, you can finish reading. Xavier, did you see her leave? No, but... She was right here, in this sanctum. She's supposed to be safe here. Maybe she went outside to get some fresh air. Faith, where are you hiding? Come now, Faith. You're scaring Mommy. Faith! No! I can't lose her. I can't have lost her. Come on, Eric. Please pick up. Please tell me you picked her up. If this is some kind of test of my inner strength, I don't fucking approve. Where is he? 
sitting right next to me. I told him to stay there and be quiet. So then where is he, Papa? Why don't you know? You wait there. I'll find him. Orson! Orson! <laughs> You can't escape your blood. We... We buried you. No sweet words for the monster who made your life an unrelenting nightmare. Come now. Let Mama make everything better. Don't you even worry about that boy of yours. You're better off with me. Mama, where's Orson? Thief, Mom! You fitter! Such an ungrateful child you always were! Mama, where is Orson? <laughs> It's always breaking down. Should be enough for you to go to the Silver Pines and buy everybody around on me. When you do, make a toast. Tell them that Toby Sorelli said they can all go fuck themselves. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why wouldn't Toby want to revel in all this beautiful chaos himself? It's because I'll be dead. Let's face it, the world's going to be better off without me. So, I'm going to finally do the right thing. Like you always seem to do. I just want you to know that I... Well, you're the only real friend I ever had. See you around. Come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? Toby? Mama? Promise? Of course. Take my hand. We will go together. I just want him to be okay. There now. Let Mama take care of things. How much further is it, Mama? Mama? see you there. You haven't seen a dog, have you? Uh, a dog? No, I'm looking for my daughter. Your daughter? Did you lose her? She, uh, must have wandered off. My pup got off the leash, and I've been trudging through this pea soup for an hour. We could look together. Maybe your kid's with my dog. Yeah, okay. I've seen you before. Foundation, right? I think so. My wife used to go there.
before she died. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. I'm all right. <laughs> That's why I got the dog. Thing is, when she got sick, my wife wouldn't go see a doctor. She was convinced the foundation could make her better. <sighs> I was pissed. Mostly at her. I just couldn't bring myself to forgive her. Do you think I was wrong for being so angry at her? She just wouldn't listen to me. Even as she got sicker, she was convinced the foundation would cure her. And even though I knew they couldn't, I think some part of me was hoping it was all real. The foundation, it failed me too. It did? I thought you were a senior member. I, I am. It's just... I'm not sure I believe in everything they teach anymore. It sounds like you're wising up. <sighs> Wish my wife did. <sighs> they really did a number on her. Built her up, gave her a sense of power and control, only to trick her into giving them complete control over her. <sighs> she was a shadow of herself at the end. Maybe it's time to get out before they do the same to you. You hear that? There you are. I was looking for you. Wait. Come on. Let's get you home. Stop! Astrid? Are you out here? Astrid? It's not like her to dart off like this. Now we're searching for two people. She didn't look right. In the head, I mean. Her boy, my grandson, is missing, Ava. Astrid needs everyone's help right now. I don't think they're here to help. Of course they are. Why else would they be here? There you are, Papa. Come look. I found footprints. They're his size, right? I'm scared. I don't understand how we could just vanish. We used to play in these woods. Orson? Orson, honey, it's mommy! Astrid, it's... it's going to be okay. Orson couldn't have gotten far. We've been searching an hour, Papa. Obviously, he did get far. We'll find him. I promise. hear the group anymore. They were just over here, weren't they? Orson! Orson! It's Mama! What happened here? We should have seen this fire from several kilometers away. It's getting so cold. Astrid, it doesn't feel safe here. We should find the others no. and... I can keep going. Angel, I need you to listen to me. If we stay out here much longer, we could die from exposure. And what about Orson? He's alone and scared. And he, he could be just beyond those trees. Well, maybe they've found him and he's waiting for us back at the house. Fine. Go back then. You'd only slow me down anyway. Whatever you decide, decide quick. I don't like the feeling of these things. I'm looking 
looking for Toby Sorelli. Have you seen him? I want to buy a round of drinks. Excuse me. Hey, I need to say something. Next round's taken care of. Courtesy of Toby Sorelli. I'm pretty sure he's never coming back here, but he left a message for all of you. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, fuck him too. My cousin died because of that asshole. Thanks for the drink. Can I return the favor? Thought the Foundation looked down on drinking. Never stopped me before. I should get to work. Xavier! Rachel? Rachel, what's wrong? It's Faith. She, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? I'm being punished for doubting our teachings. I know it. Just breathe. There may be a logical explanation for this. No, there isn't. You've seen it out there. The withering is getting worse. And now... And now my daughter's lost out there. Or worse. Where's Eric? Does he know? No. I don't know where he is. Then you have to find him. Tell him that Faith is gone. He'll be able to help. I'm afraid he'll blame me for losing her. Just tell him that his daughter is missing. You don't need to tell him anything else. What if it's not enough? It will be. You just need to have as much faith in your husband as he has in you. show you put on back at the bar is there something you want because i've got work to do yeah it's about toby i figured rachel wouldn't tell you but i thought you should know what happened to him well where is he See if they found him. Astrid, please. We need to go home. Okay. Let's go back. Orson could be there waiting for us. And if he isn't? We'll rest up and then come back and, and we'll... This way. Shouldn't be long now. Orson! Orson! Papa, let go of me! Orson! Orson! What was that? The evil I was telling you about. Now do you believe me? Don't move. Bri? 
Shit! When you didn't come back from the search, Aunt Meta called me. She told me where they lost track of you three days ago. What? We were only gone a few hours. No, you weren't. I honestly thought you were dead. We were lucky we came across you when we did. We saw... We were out there so long our minds were playing tricks on us. I know everything happened quickly, but why didn't you call me the moment Orson went missing? I know we haven't always been on the best terms, but Orson is my nephew. I would have dropped everything and come here right away. But I had to hear about it from Meta. You haven't exactly been around much, Brit. I didn't think you'd come. Because I'm in recovery, I'm doing better. And that's great. You just... haven't had the best track record in the past, okay? I'm not the one who lost their son and has been missing for days. We need to talk. We spent a lot of time looking for you. What were you doing out there for so long? 
looking for my son. What do you think? For three days. It didn't feel like that long. We just lost track of time. I... I don't know. Lost track of time? You put a lot of officers and volunteers in danger. We... We didn't mean... We must have gotten lost trying to get back. While we were looking for you, we also found this. Where? Where did you... Near where Breed found the both of you. Astrid, do you know why it was out there? Orson dropped it, obviously. I'd like to have it back. Can't do that. We're taking it into evidence. Fine. I just want to find Orson. I won't lie. It's not looking good. Excuse me. I think I need some hair. What do we do now? Orson's still out there. I'd hope to talk with Astrid about this, but I think it would be better coming from you. Tell her what? The search has been going on for more than 72 hours. I know this is difficult to hear, but I've made a decision to shift the case. From rescue to recovery. I'm sorry. Xavier said I couldn't let anything happen to you. What, what was that? They said it was over. It was supposed to end when Toby... When he... When Toby did what, Krista? What happened to him? Toby sacrificed himself. But it didn't stop the withering. I need to talk to Xavier. Warn him. Wait! What the hell was that? Where did it come from? Ask your wife. There you are. I've been looking for you. I had to go for a walk. I couldn't breathe in there. Hogan's gone. So what's our plan? Bring more searchers? Helicopters? No, Astrid. She's not. Why not? I'm afraid time is not on our side. I know you're scared right now. But we need to prepare ourselves. It's possible... Orson... In the morning, I'm putting my boots on and I'm going right back out there. You'll get yourself hurt. Or worse. I'm not leaving him out there. Astrid, this needs to stop. You should talk to someone. A professional. Or maybe Brit could help. I don't need an intervention or a lecture. You want to help? Tell Hogan to get the fuck back out there and help me find my son. Rach, thank God. Rach? Where's Faith? Eric, where the hell have you been? I've been trying to call you for hours. I was working. And I had to do a favor for Toby. Toby? Toby's gone. Your family needs you. You don't understand. I was attacked by this. Faith is missing. 
I've been searching everywhere for her while you were gone. Where were you? What do you mean she's missing? The Foundation failed us. That's what happened. We did everything they said, but it still didn't protect us. What does that have to do with Faith? We have to keep looking. Then let's go find her. I told you, I've already tried calling the police a hundred times. No one is picking up. What about the playground? She loves the slide there. I checked. Twice. I've looked everywhere. And what are we supposed to do? We need to talk to Xavier. He'll know. The Foundation? What? Whenever the Foundation gets involved, I'm pushed to the side for not being further along in my path. Certain topics are off limits to lower level members. That's just how it is. But this is my daughter! You have to promise me that if we go to the Foundation, you won't let them shut me out. I don't make the rules, Eric. I'm not going to sit in the hallway while you meet with Xavier. Not this time. Come on. Xavier, our daughter is missing. Oh my god. Eric, are you okay? Where is Xavier? A situation has come up. It might be best if we talk privately. Rach, please. Eric stays. You know our rules around discussing the withering with initiates. Eric is experiencing the withering too. I saw it. Fine. He can stay. But you say nothing. Where is Xavier? He's gone. What? Where did he go? We don't know. He disappeared after Toby's ritual, saying something about protecting the innocents. Do you think Xavier could have taken her with him? He must have. Trust me, everything will work out exactly as it's intended. I appreciate you standing up for me. It means a lot. Who are they to tell me that my husband can't be part of the conversation? Everything is going to be all right. Faith is safe. Xavier took her to protect her from the withering. Do we know that for sure? He said he was going to protect the innocent. How much clearer could it be? We have to trust the Foundation. Trust Xavier. When it's safe, he'll come back with Faith. 
We'll just wait for them to return. Wait? I know this is hard for you, but if Faith was out there, we would have found her by now. I'm not listening to this. We can't go back out there. It's not safe. The best thing we can do is stay put and wait for Xavier. For our daughter. You're the one who said the Foundation failed us, and now you want to stay here and wait for Xavier? Yes, Eric. That's exactly what I'm saying. Xavier's going to bring her back. I can feel it. No! I'm not going to be pushed around by you. Not this time. You've made me cut off my only real friend. Refuse to tell me why? Just to trust you? And now Toby's dead. How do you even know that? Rachel, what the hell? This is ridiculous. And I'm not going to leave Faith out there to die too. I just want to keep you safe. No, Rachel, what you want is to be in control. Eric, you can't go back out there, please. You want to stay here and wait for Xavier? Go ahead, but I'm going to find our daughter. for you. I, I thought for a moment it, it was... Shh. It will be okay. Meta, if Astrid saw us... Astrid is still out searching. It's just us. She shouldn't be out there alone. She needs someone to watch her. She'll be fine. Let Brit worry about her. Meta, wait. Wait for what? Carl! Are you okay? I... I still feel a little hungover from last night. I... I need some water. I'll be here. See her. Please give us a call. Rachel, leave you high and dry again? W what? You're out here searching, and where is she? Back at the foundation? Barbara said Xavier has faith, so she's waiting for them to return. And what do you think? I think she's doing what she thinks is right. Be honest. Between you, me, and the corn chips, don't you wish Rachel was here with you, searching for Faith? I know that if it was my daughter missing, I wouldn't be able to rest. She's not resting. Oh, right. She's waiting for Xavier to magically return with your daughter. We all cope in our own ways. She leans on her belief in the Foundation. I'm out here searching. You don't have to search alone, you know. So what? You're offering to help? If you want the company. I thought you hated Rachel. Doesn't mean I hate you or want to see your daughter hurt. I'm a bitch, Eric, not a monster. What do you say? Yeah, okay. Good. Now let's go find your daughter. Astrid? Where's Orson? What are you doing here? I know you think I did something to Orson, but it's not true. What are you talking about? I would never hurt my son. You have no proof of that. 
Jersey, you're acting really weird right now. I need to see him. Astrid, I don't have Orson. You called. Said I... You said I... I didn't call you. But right now, I'm really worried you did something to him. We found him on the front steps like this. Xavier? Where's Faith? He hasn't said a word since we found him. I'm sorry, Rachel. Faith wasn't with him. No! This isn't happening! You said he was protecting her! I thought he was. I'm so sorry. Rachel, I have to leave town. What? I have to find answers. If there's a way of stopping the withering, I can't do that here. What about Faith? The new leadership will decide if the Foundation will continue to search for her. New leadership? What are you... Xavier had this letter when we found him. I'll leave it with you. Rachel, never lose hope. In the event I get lost in the fog of the withering and can't find my way back, let my position, my power fall to... Sister Krista Lee, who has proven herself true and worthy of this role? Beware of Sister Rachel Hernandez, whose lust for power blinds her. She cannot be trusted. Krista? You said I was blessed. Was it all a lie? Tell me! Withering, and it's all Rachel's fault. What are you talking about? At first, we thought it was happening because of Toby, but it's not. Your wife is cursed, Eric. She's the problem. Rachel has always been the problem. That's insane. Open your eyes. I see how she treats you. We all do. You deserve better. What do you want me to say? What do you want to say? It seems to me that no one has asked you that for a long time. 